I stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. No signs of muscular atrophy. Splendid. If we're ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. You are going to paint this system red, my friend. Handled bits for a living, huh?
No discernible aptitude? We'll see about that. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. And prepare to be... Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. Idiot. 
I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Thank you.